Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to work on the checkout page of our application. In the previous video, we learned how you can add a product and uh, increase the quantity of it. If you check out this example, we have let's say two of this product and the gold, the gold one. If you add more of that, you will have more of this. We have a checkout button here. So if you click on the checkout, it should uh, send us to another page and in the checkout it should give us every de details of our cart and from there we are going to do the payment process using a stripe so let's create another component and we will work on the checkout page the checkout page is very important so make sure you are not skipping this video and I'm going to show you some of uh, we how view router is going to work uh, we already discussed about view router in the past but still there are some of the things you have not learned and I will teach you. So let's start. If I come to my application structure here, I will close everything. Coming to our component uh, folder here, we are going to check out where is this button, like check out here. If you click on this one, it should send us to a checkout page. I will come to the component called mini cart and here it is. We have a button called checkout. For now, I am going to say router link and this is how it should work right and if I use the router link and closing the router link the router link is going to navigate you to another page so if I come here and instead of the button instead of the type I will just say send us to the checkout page here so for now it is fine and if I come to the router, we have our router.js and this is where we register all our routes. So we have every route here and the admin, we have admin and then we have some sub or children routes for the admin, admin slash overview product in the uh, past videos we did. And here is the about one. So uh, I'm going to duplicate this one and we are going to create another one called checkout. So above the about, I'm going to say this is are going to be checkout the name is going to be checkout and if someone click on this one it should bring a checkout component for us so it should refer to the view directory and uh, views directory and then check out that view so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the views directory here here is the about that view I'm going to duplicate this one so for now if I duplicate this it should be check out that view and everything seems to be fine if i save it for now let's expect this one to work and if i come to my application it will refresh everything you might have noticed so far if i add a product to the cart and every time i refresh it lose the cart so that is called vuex persistency which we have not covered yet it should persistently save data in the browser or session or storage so user should not lose those we will focus on in the future video but for now if i click on the checkout it send us to the checkout URL but we don't have anything here if I check out my component here the checkout we have this text here but why it didn't appear the reason is if it happens for you it is not in the right order first of all this black face you this black uh, layer you can see here this is because it has added to the model window of your app if you come back you will see there is a uh, gray box above your body it is because of the model bootstrap model window so that is wrong if I do not come here and directly go to the checkout is this working nope it is not working so let's fix this issue first of all we have this content called about page and I am going to give it a proper name this is going to be checkout and this is going to be the checkout page for now this is just an example also if I open the home page here we have a component called navbar you know navbar is where we everywhere it, uh, we are going to use it and this is a global component also if I come to main.js you can see we have registered this one as a global component so why not I can use this one in my checkout page here if I save it here and if I come here it still you will not see the navbar and I will show you the issue every time you create a route make sure you will write the slash in front of it something like this and this is for the checkout and in the same way for the about because it should know where it is going for the home you can check out this one this is already a slash if I save it this time 
coming here it should reload itself here yeah, now you can see your navigation here and if i go to the home here you can see this is wrong because we do not have any route called slash home this is only slash so that's why i can open my navbar here because i will switch between the routes i have to come to the home here instead of going to the home just go to the slash and this time it should work just fine i will come to the home page oops that is not the correct ip this is the home page and if i go to about page this is the about page and everything works and if i go to product we don't have a product page and if i go to the home it should be in the home page so let's try this time if i come here add a product to the cart click the checkout now it sends us to the checkout we can see the navbar still we have a layer here so this is the issue the model is still open it is closed from our, our eye but some of the model component is still is still open that's why when i came to mini cart i just add this one and i said i'm going to change this one this is not how you do that one in the in this example of course this is the correct way of doing it but we will not do that one i will control that everything this is checkout what i'm going to say is i'm going to say it should respond to a click event and then it should call a function called checkout and then i can scroll down here in the methods i will write my checkout function here so what checkout is going to do it is going to use the javascript to navigate between our routes now here you will learn about the view router and how you can navigate using javascript sometimes you do some calculation and then you redirect to another page how you will do that one in javascript if i come to the view router here the examples mostly you will check out the api reference if you check out the api reference you will not understand what they mean when you are using something let me show you the example if i come to their api reference we have something called router.push and here it is if you check out they say you can use router.push it will accept a location and on complete what it should do on board what it should do and that is the second and third parameter so if you use it like this it will not work so you come to the guide here and how you are going to use this the way you access your router so here they have an example of that if i scroll down a little bit here's the example this the dollar sign router dot go it will go back and the push one is going to accept a url so this is what we are using i'll copy this one i will paste it here and just indenting our code a little bit and it should push us to the ch checkout page now before it send us to the checkout page i am going to close the modal window using javascript so if i come to bootstrap in the javascript section you have the modal this is the show one and you have the hide one so you can just toggle it show or hide and which modal window the mini cart toggle oops okay i will copy the name here and scrolling down it will detect that modal window and it will close it then it is going to redirect us so if i save it this time coming to my application i will come back to the home page i will refresh everything and it should work just fine and let's add a few product to the cart i will add this one and add one more we have two product if i come to the checkout yes we see the checkout but there is nothing to show so i will come to the checkout and i will design it first of all i will remove this one the h1 and i will just write a little of bootstrap design here is a row and this row will have two column md and one of them will take nine column and the other one should take three of remaining and the three one is going to be in the right sidebar and it should be total price and it should uh, show us the summary of what we have here so here should we must have an h4 or h5 i don't know it should be h4 and it should check check out page and this one should be three and yeah it looks fine if i save it you will come here you will not see it because it is under the nav bar here because our navigation is fixed and it is go it will go under it what i am going to say is i'm going to say margin top is five and padding top is five if you don't know what are this these are the uh, bootstrap helpers 
MT for margin top and PT for padding top and if I save and coming here everything works fine except for the class container that's why it is not in the center of the page yes it is center of the page now you can see it should show the total here and the checkout here now let's display the product and we will finish this video how you do that one easily you have already displayed those product here if you have displayed those here you can display the same thing in the checkout so I will come here exactly under the first column I am going to paste my UL here I will end in the code save it coming here for now it will display the checkout and every details and it should have a little bit of uh, one more bootstrap class I will say PY is going to be 4 it will give from the top and bottom padding of 4 and now you can see the space between the checkout page and your product here now you can see we can display them I can navigate between the links and we don't have any link to the checkout page of course you can come here you can add to the cart then you can go to checkout but instead of getting a start you can have another link or I don't know you can add it here at the, at the top of the website anywhere that makes sense for you you can add it mostly people add it here as an icon they can the user can click on this one it can show the mini cart and check out at the same time they have button so I will do that behind the scene that is easy stuff and as you can see we have your product here but here is an issue if you refresh it everything will be gone and you will lose the data that is because we didn't apply the view x cart persistency which we do in the future video and that's it for this video i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video